Okay, we've done some work on selecting uh, components, and I'd like to now take a look at doing some editing on a particular layer. Uh, this is our Finger Lakes region, and what I'm going to specialize in here is the water. So I'm going to select the Finger Lakes water here, and go up here to our uh, Select by Rectangle. And I'm just going to grab a small area to use as an example. Uh, so here's a here's a small pond or something between the two between the two lakes. So I'm going to highlight and select that. Now I'm going to come back over and see where that is in the attribute table. And I'll just go down here and show just the selected features. So I've got one that's a, got a pond name here. So one thing that we could do is we could we could make a modification to this. So this is the uh, editing mode. So I'm going to turn this on, and you notice a couple things. Uh, one is I've got these red uh, identifications, and those are the individual nodes that were used to draw that that feature. Uh, but if I'd like, I can just click in a, in an area here and call this uh, uh, Tom's Tom's Pond, and it, it's only going to let me put in uh, Tom. So uh, it's been limited there by uh, by a characteristic of that. So the short name there is Tom. So one thing we can do is toggle editing on and off, and go back and forth for for. Uh, doing some work there. I'm going to drag this out of the way now. Let's put it down below here. And I'm going to get real close to this little pond. And it's been selected. So as I get close to the pond, you can see that the... Let me clear the selections. So you can see that, that this pond has been created by these individual nodes. So that's how the polygon was defined. So when editing is on, um, there's a few things we can do. We could we could move the feature. So this would be if I click on this, move the feature, I can grab the entire pond and move it to a new location, which of course might put it right on top of something else. But just for an example, uh, the next thing I could do is maybe make an adjustment to the pond itself. Uh, so the node tool allows us to grab individual nodes and drag them around. So I'm going to try to, to um, grab a node here, and I'm going to drag that out. So if I do this with a, with a few nodes, uh, you can see that I could change the characteristics of what the pond is like. And so on. So these are allowing us now to edit the individual um, nodes of a feature, um, or we could add something to the attribute table. Uh, the next thing I may want to do is to to add a feature of my own. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit here, to get a little bit further away, and I'm going to add a feature. And this is essentially now creating a new feature. I'll just kind of make this just any old thing. And then right click when you're done. And what it's going to do is going to allow me to, to um, name, name what these things are. So I might call this a pond. And the short name maybe T2 pond. And you see it's only going to let me put in three, three numbers from that standpoint. So now if I say OK with this, I now have a, a new pond on the um, activity. And if I look at the um, attribute table, and I scroll all the way down to the bottom of this attribute table, you'll see that there's the, the new pond that I put in, which is uh, T2P. So you can, you can work in this manner to edit uh, components of the attribute table, or you can create new uh, features themselves, and you know bring those in or modify features that are there. So if we scroll back, you can see now I've I've created this fake lake here um, that's that's in between Seneca and, and Cuco. 
to toggle back off to the editing, it will say, do you want to save your changes? And uh, I'm tempted to discard those because, uh, number one, I, I moved the pond, and number two, I put in a lake that really wasn't there. So that's working with a layer that's already been established. If we want to add a new layer um, ourselves and, and put in the attributes, you know, one at a time, um, one thing we could do is to up here to Layer, New, and we're just going to add a new shape file. Uh, and we have our choice of point, line, or, or polygon. So I may, may want to call these points, and I may just do this to identify the names of lakes or, or, or something from that stat standpoint. So uh, the attribute is, um, I'll call it, uh, oh, I like a good idea, fishing spots. So I'm going to put in uh, fishing spots, the width, um, I'm going to make this a little bit longer so that I can describe the fishing spots fairly well. And it's text. So you could choose text and, or numbers or what have you. And we'll call that uh, text from that standpoint. Um, so we'll add. So we've got the ID and the fishing spots. Um, we may want to uh, fish type. So we put that fish type in there. Um, okay, so now I've got a, a, a new layer that I'm that I'm going to add, and we'll save this as um, fishing hotspots. And it's added this layer to our uh, activity. So if I click on this, um, and I'm going to toggle editing on. So editing it is on. And then, you know, now I can kind of steal information from one layer to, to work with another. So for example, um, I may want to uh, scroll out here and, and scroll in. And the north end of um, Seneca Lake, oh, wait. fishing hotspots has to be turned on. You notice I can have that toggled on, and, and you see it's in fishing hotspots here, but I can be in water and, and not be able to do that. But if I come back here, I have more choices as to what I am up to. So, yeah, so if I want to add a, a, uh, add a piece of data, and come over here to add feature. Now you notice the add feature shows up as, as points because I'm, I'm doing a point layer. So I put that in uh, and the ID number is, we'll call that ID number one, just for, and the fishing spot is um, and fish type is small. Okay, and you see now I've got a, a fishing hotspot on there for that end of the lake. And so correspondingly I could go around to all the places that I, I know that are good fishing and make my own little map here of um, uh, spots to fish. Okay, so kind of a, a way to uh, work with um, doing a little bit of editing and to give you an example with working with the attribute tables and so on. Uh, if I uh, want to maybe at the last moment bring it to the attribute table, um, and here uh, maybe I, I smelled, spelled something wrong or something, I could, I could type in this area again and call this uh, something else. And I'll save the layer. Okay, so we'll continue on with some more editing activities and layer creation uh, in a few minutes.